What's up everybody, this is DJ Jordan Nelson and today I've teamed up with the DJ's Guru to tell you guys about a method that I use in my own company that I really think can help make your business more efficient and I call it the grab and go box. Now, I don't think I'm the one that pioneered this idea, it's been seen on YouTube before, but I think I've streamlined it for my own company and that's one of the benefits of this little tip is that you can make this work however your specific company needs. Now, what a grab and go box is, is a container that holds all of the cables and other gear that I would need to do a specific kind of event. Now I have three different boxes on the table and I'm gonna show you what's in each one of them. This is my main cable box right here. This is my second system box and this is my live sound box. So let's zoom in and I'll show you what's in each one of these. All right, so up first is the most important grab and go box. This is my main cable box. This one goes with me to every event because it contains all of the essentials to do any sort of gig. So I've got a scrim right here. This is a black one. My white one that's on the table right now will also go in this box. I have a 50 foot extension cord. I also have two of these 15 foot extension cords, a couple shorter ones. I have two 25 foot IEC cables, which are my main power cables for my speakers. I have four XLR cables, a power strip with a voltmeter right here to make sure my power is sufficient. I have a roll of gaff tape, and then underneath all of this, I have one extra power strip, a couple of three-prong to two-prong adapters, and then a couple of like little one-foot jumper cables to make sure if I have a tricky wall situation, I can plug in my power. So this is my main cable box that goes to every event. My next box is my ceremony box or my second system box. Now this one holds up on top a DBX Go Rack, so just a small portable mixer that I can use to do a couple microphones and an aux input, as well as its power power cord. And then underneath the foam, we have a two channel wireless mic system. The microphones are right here. I have a little battery pack that holds spare batteries, which is running very low right now. So I need to fill that up. A couple of microphone cables. This is a quarter inch. There are some XLR cables right here, as well as an aux cable right here. So I can grab this box if I have to do a ceremony, if I need to do a cocktail hour in a remote location, and this will give me everything I need to handle that sort of situation. My last box is the biggest one and the heaviest. This is my live sound grab and go box. And inside of here is everything that I need to mic up a small band and do some live sound or if I need to do a wedding with a guitarist that's plugging in or a violinist or what have you everything I need is in this box now I'm no live sound expert but I do have this Mackie Pro FX 8 V2 right here so I can do eight channels and mix on this underneath that I have a rack mount a larger two channel wireless mic system and the wireless mics are right here I've got this little rack of cables right here. I've got everything from XLRs to quarter inch TS and TRS, uh, a little bit of everything there. I have a passive microphone here as well. This is a Shure, I can't remember what model, one of the cheaper ones. Another power strip in this box, a couple triple taps, a ton of different adapters and RCA cables, XLR, quarter inch to interconvert between all of the different cable connectors. And then I have a DI box right here to plug in an instrument keyboard, what have you, into the Mackie mixer. One of the nice things about these grab and go boxes is that I know everything I need is inside of the box when I have it. Nothing ever goes in or out unless I'm at an event. This allows me to take less or more gear depending on what the event calls for. I used to have one big box that I would throw all of my cables and gaff tape and scrims in and it really was unnecessary. Not every event needs 300 foot extension cords. Not every event needs a live sound mixer or extra sets of mics. Now you don't want to leave yourself high and dry by only having a single microphone in one box or a single XLR cable. You wanna make sure you have backups in each box, but I still carry less overall per box than I would have if everything was combined in one container. So that's how I use grab and go boxes to make my life a little bit easier at gigs. It makes it so that I can fit more equipment in my car and that the equipment that I take is tailored to the event that I'm doing. Once again, my name is DJ Jordan Nelson. Thank you for watching on the DJ's Guru and we will see you next time.